Did I ever tell you about Jar Jar? He was some Gungan my old master Qui-Gon kept with him because he owed him a life debt or something. I'm not sure how, but he somehow also became a galactic senator. He was probably the most insufferable creature I ever met. And he was a good friend. you would be of more use to me if I skinned you and turned your skin into a lampshade or fashioned you into a piece of high-end luggage. I can even add you to my collection. Are you saying that you have a collection of skin luggage? Of course I'm not, Dee. Don't be ridiculous. Think of the smell. You haven't thought of the smell, you bitch! Now you say another word and I swear to God I will dice you into a million little pieces and put those pieces in a box. A glass box that I will display on my mantle. <laughs> Alright, now that that's settled, we can have a normal conversation. <laughs> Good and spent, I'm all out of mana. Dad's three sheets, I'm windy as Santa. I need space, not the final frontier, but a measurement of distance for you to get clear. What? Yeah, I'm hitting the man cave. Door shut, it's time to get misbehaved. Got my recliner on my Netflix and chill with it, uh. Grab a ball, pop a shot till I'm good with it, uh. I put my feet up, cuddle up with the sippy cup. I'm living down here and I'm never coming up. Next 60 minutes, I'm existing a bubble. I'm steering clear of all the drama and trouble, man. I ain't scrapping, I'm fapping and power napping. 60 minutes alone is just what I'm handicapping. Relaxing, knee slapping and snacking. Free time, it's what I'm taxing. What are you trying to say? Trying to say I need the man cave, baby. I'm feeling lazy and the kids got me crazy. I'm trying to say I need the man cave, baby. About 30 minutes with my headphones made. I'm trying to say I need the man cave, baby. My comics and my games and my TV daily. I'm running out of time and the pizza's on the way. Gather it up, pound a brew, that's a dad holiday. In the man cave, there are no children allowed. You keep your Cheeto fingers off of my couch. I only got 60 minutes now to handle my business. I'd appreciate compliance or I'll have to cancel Christmas. I'm done. I need a break. Go find your mother, she's escaping down the sewer grate. You're not neglected, I'm taking a time out. Adult style, 40 ounce of bitter stout. I know, I know, I'm a parent, I shouldn't drink. But the Star Trek holodeck doesn't even exist yet. Beset by debts, no private jets. I check, Dad's life is a danger field set. No respect, depreciating assets. Old CDs and obsolete cassettes. I'm the check in the balance, the guard in the palace. And I toast to myself with an empty chalice, huh? Trying to say I need the man cave, baby. I'm feeling lazy and the kids got me crazy. I'm trying to say I need the man cave, baby. About 30 minutes with my headphones made. I'm trying to say I need the man cave, baby. My comics and my games and my TV daily. I'm running out of time and the pizza's on the way. Dab it up, pound a brew, that's a dad holiday. Put me down quicker, let me down in the cave. I got a Neolithic urge for my paleo enclave. Four bare walls and a roof and a chair. Doesn't take much and you don't have to share. It's my personal space, my happy place. Under the staircase, it's restricted airspace. All these other suckers, man, they don't deserve this. This isn't for pretenders. I tell you, I can't relax, you know. 
Right, the other night I was in a place I felt like having a few drinks. Someone over to the bartender, I said, surprise me. He showed me a naked picture of my wife. <laughs> Tell you the truth, my wife and I, we never have sex. No. Now, we get undressed, we can't stop laughing, you know? <laughs> Man, it's not easy being me. When I was born, the doctor told my mother I did all I could, but he pulled through anyway. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Happy Thursday. Welcome to the Man Cave, all you cave dwellers. I am good stuff right here with me is Justin Belmont. What's going on, Justin? What's happening, baby? Nah, I just finished uh, fulfillment uh, last night. For uh, Cashy Dreams on my on Kickstarter, nice. And I went to the post office, dropped everybody's uh, package off, oh. and I'm excited for uh, the fiftieth episode tonight. Yes, it is our fiftieth. That's as old as me, huh? Almost. Well, I'm fifty, so that's fifty episodes. So. Oh, you yeah. are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fifty. I'm fifty. This uh, I didn't put this white in. It just came on naturally. Yes, yes, oh, yes. You earned it. <laughs> That's right. I did earn it. All right. We have a great show lined up for everybody tonight. We got a few new things. We're added to the man cave. I'm going to talk to you guys about here after we bring everybody in. We've got a great special guest. But first, we have the testosterone levelizer, the only female in the man cave on the regular basis, just to keep us men in line. Phantasmagorical, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> How you doing, Fanta? <laughs> I'm doing great. Happy 50th episode. Yes, happy 50th. Uh, did you get me something? I think, what is 50? Is that gold? You're supposed to buy me something gold. Mm. Yes. Who got me something yeah, gold? And I, I don't mean that. a golden shower, freaks. I know what you guys are thinking. I know right <laughs> what you were thinking. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I wasn't even thinking. Speaking of golden shower, let's bring in our fella from down under. The king of fashion in his neighborhood With his red blue jeans and a flannel shirt A well-kept mullet and a packet of smokes His mates will tell you he's a real top bloke Well then, <laughs> good day, mate. <laughs> let's put another shrimp on the barbie. Daddy Ray Ray, what's up? Hey, hey brother. I got a, a golden snow cone for you. <laughs> golden snow cone. <laughs> golden it's not snow lemon cone. flavored, just so you know. It's mm. not, don't eat the yellow snow. Lemony fresh. What's that song? Don't you go where the huskies go and don't you eat that yellow snow or something like that? <laughs> All right, I heard that in a while. Right. <laughs> I don't know that one. Uh, probably a lot of you youngsters don't would be my guess. But holy shit, 50th anniversary show. Damn. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Pretty good, bros. Uh, yeah, we're like, like a whole married couple. couple. Yeah, it's like the <laughs> odd couple. You look like an old married couple. We're uh, the Brady yeah. Bunch. I'm obviously <laughs> the man. I have a beard. So, I mean, there's that. <laughs> 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 All right. We have a very special guest entering the man cave this evening. Okay, we have a very special guest. Drop by the studio now. He's going to come out and say hi to you. Our special guest today. Also special, my father. Also guest. special guest. Really important. Our special guest. Joined tonight by a very special guest. Joining us tonight. The Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us, Death Metal Hero. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, oh, yes. Happy to be here. Happy to be here on this most uh, monumentous occasion of 50 episodes. Uh, hey. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. I'll drink to that. Skull. Ching, ching, motherfucker. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, yeah. Indeed. I should have put whiskey in my coffee. You should. I put whiskey in my Coke. I mean, it kind of goes right. together. Yeah. yeah. And watch like, yeah. behave yourself. You've got a show in the morning. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping you in line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to stop drinking the uh, the bourbon straight during the shows because I'm way too drunk oh. to do the show. So I know how that goes. I had to I mix never it. noticed. 
<laughs> I never noticed at all. You, you keep it in line well. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, 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 I partook a bit too much of the whiskey on the last uh, happy hour hangout with uh, with Feline, and I was I was I was fairly for schnicket by the end of it. Uh, I had to had to sober up before topicless. That, yeah, that'll happen. That yeah. will happen. But I think this is the time we need to say hello to the chat. Yeah. Hey, What's up, chat? See chat. Hello, chat. chat. Who we what got? Up, chat. I think Corey was here first. What's yes. up, Corey? Or Corey. Corey. First. Uh, what up, hey, Corey? Yo. What's up? Good night, mate. Again, first. <laughs> you wanted to make sure. Double first. <laughs> He's always first. Yep, and of course there's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> Meet him last time. Hey, Mr. Hey, Mrs. G. Mrs. G. What's Mrs. up, baby? What's up? I don't know. I can't really be a bartender. I don't know. Could you be a bartender? You might. I don't um, well, I don't drink a... really that much, so. Well, you don't. Well, there's maybe that's good. A maybe that's a good bartenders thing that don't drink actually. I think Is Justin that... would be a very confused bartender. <laughs> <laughs> Where does the ice go again? Right. <laughs> Look at the Roman Coke. The Coke in the bucket. <laughs> What's up? Thank you. Happy fiftieth episode. Appreciate Indeed. you. Thanks, Falcon. Look, flying felines here. She's got hey, like a there's my lady. Yeah. Skull, beautiful. Feline. Lion by. Oh, our favorite. My partner in crime and favorite troublemaker. Hey, hot dog lady, hot dog queen, Vanessa V. What's up? What's up, Vanessa? Hey, Vanessa. How you doing? It's a big day. <sighs> day for Wait, celebration. What are you doing with that hand? Have we said hi, to everybody? No, no. We're oh, we're oh, okay. oh, okay. innocent. Time. Swear, Eric. <laughs> what's up, Eric? What's going on? Hey, Eric. Wait, is it his poll? No, it's it's Pale Rider's poll. It's Eric's Pale oddities. Rider. He's he's got a great oh Eric's oddities. Creepy yeah. ass fucking video, man. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the internet is a crazy place. There's more up in here. Hen, hen. Never what's up? Hey, hen. Hey, hen. Oh, it's our boy Levi. Hi, Levi. What up, Levi? Hey, Levi. Who else we got? What's happening? There's more. There's more. I seen them. The chat is Pale jumping. Rider. What's up, Pale Rider? Big Pal. Oh, Freaking up. Awesome. Gross. Right oh, hey, nasty wow. bastard. Nasty bastard. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> make me a victim. Oh, shit. Get back in We're going place. cray cray out there. Uh huh. It's, uh, it's what the chat do. Mm -hmm. Beta. Hey, everybody. Still That's giving it. out love. Look at that. Always. Yep. Hey, Gob. There's more. There's more. I seen them. What's up, Gob? What's happening? Cannabis cannibal crackers. Say that three times fast. <laughs> I can't even say uh -huh. it once. I double dare you. <laughs> cannabis cannibal crackers. Cannabis cannibal crackers. <laughs> exactly. Fatty. What up, old, old dirty fatty? What's what up, old dirty ODF in the house. Is that everybody, that might be everybody. I think that is everybody. I think so. If we missed you, we do apologize because we do not mean to miss anybody. But welcome, cave dwellers. We appreciate you showing up to the man cave. Well, I was tanked on the last happy hour, but that's what happy hour is for. So that is correct. Always yes. a good time on that show. We yes, have yes, we have yes. a blast on that show. We do. Oh, so chat. Panel, everybody, um, I'm really excited to bring you on our 50th anniversary special show. Uh, we're going to start giving out manly points. And <laughs> these manly points are going to be given out loosely and fun, and it'll be random amounts that you get for different things, such as uh, showing up in a chat and commenting. You're going to get some points just for that. If you show up on both, you get points for both. It's exciting. Uh, so if you say something really funny, we're going to throw some points at you. Um, if you go back and do the replay and you comment on the replay, we're going to throw some points at you. Uh, just 
it's just going to be random things. There's no really set pattern for anything, but we're going to throw points at you. And if you say some dumb shit to me, I'm going to take some fucking points away because that's how I roll. <laughs> well, I want to start off by giving Vulcan Lives five points because he likes my intro. Oh, well, that's that's good. That, that's five <laughs> points. <laughs> and the randomness begins. Yes. And so... At the end of this, it's not just you're going to get points to say I got points, right? We're, we're going to keep a tally for four weeks, okay? And at the end of the four weeks, you're going to get something special. The winner, the, the person who gets the most points, who we deem gets the most points. I'm going to reiterate that. Who we deem And not the sock juice sock. <laughs> right? Um, you will get something special. It will not be worth anything. It will be not monetarily uh, worth it to you. And it won't even be something physical you get to hold in your hand. But I promise you, you will get something and you will enjoy it. Yes. <laughs> Maybe a virtual sock. That is virtual a very good idea, though. Send it definitely. out tube socks. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. We can send I like tube it. Socks. A gob. Justin watches people drink from the closet. Cheers, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Not all I do. Points. All right. <laughs> Wait, it's not about drywall. But Justin loves the feel of drywall. <laughs> <laughs> the <quarry> hole. <laughs> That's 10 points. Oh, That's 10 points. That's 10 points. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're already starting off strong. Oh, and uh, by the way, too, something else we will be doing. If you say something that I may not like, or maybe Justin doesn't like, or somebody on the panel doesn't like, and it's all in fun, by the way, not really not like, but uh, I will be taking your man card, to, just so you're aware. You don't want to lose your man card. Now, that doesn't mean you Indeed. can't get it back, because you, know, you there's a possibility to earn it back. So, there is that. There is that. But before we go... Any further, uh, there she is. We are going to real quick, like, go over Pale Rider's poll. If you have not voted, please go vote on Pale Rider's poll. It is uh, muy imperative that you do this. So this is Baton Boobs, and this week is the police babe theme. Uh, he's going for a village person um, pull-off. Uh, I don't know, final, whatever cool. you can call it. So last week, the one cowgirl she won that was reverse cowgirl. Uh, this week, whoever wins, and then the next two weeks, whoever wins will be going up against each other. So it'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I think a pole off is the, the appropriate term for something like that. Sure. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, and uh, Mrs. G is correct. Taking a man card is for somebody saying something non-manly. For the most part, yes. Gross <laughs> ovaries, be a man. That's funny. <laughs> Five points. Five All right. Points. Okay. So this is baton boobs. Yes, you can. If you look closely, mm. you can see the reflection of her cleavage. Oh, look at that! Not that I noticed. <laughs> very, very artistic shot. <laughs> this oh, here is put it in my hand. <laughs> That's her. I don't think that's, uh, you know, department issue clothing there. I'm just... It, uh, well, it depends on which... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it works for me. And this is strip search. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> I think that's my girl. She's the dark-haired one, yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah. She my is. Girl. Yes, yes. Strip I didn't like her sleeve. You didn't like her sleeve. <laughs> sleeve. No, sleeve. No, I don't hey, even know how. Focusing in on that little detail there. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's always. No, nope, sleeve is wrong. All her. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't match your eyes. Or... <laughs> All right. So uh, this is under me arrest. I don't know. Red's not her color. Those things look true. really low. It's hard to tell. Well, what she does have clashing man. colors. She's got red, yeah. here, pink here. She's got black and blue. I mean, it's difficult, you know? I think she's trying to hide her penis. Is that what it is? <laughs> she's trying to tuck it? <laughs> is that why she's got that weird, uncomfortable smile? I think so. I think <laughs> yeah. Hurry up sitting and on it. Take the picture. Take the picture. <laughs> 
<laughs> Would there be more or less crime if cops looked like this? <laughs> A question for the ages. Oh, yeah. uh, all right. So currently we have strip search in the lead with eight votes. Under me arrest is in second with six. Baton Boobs has got four votes in third place and put it in my hand is bringing it up in the rear with two. So that's where we're at. All right. I forget what the one I like's name was. Is she last or first? She's first. She's first. <laughs> yes, she is first. And uh, Agab says that's someone else's cleavage. Man card in question, good stuff. No, that was her cleavage. <sighs> <laughs> yes, resisting arrest charges would likely plummet. Yes, I think you're right. I, I think you deserve a few points for that. Mm. And uh, Levi says, where are the redheads? And Feline is, is with Levi. And I, I got to agree, there's an overrepresentation of blonde on that list there. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah they've got to mix it up. we gotta, we got to diversify. got to have some redheads in there. Yep, yep. I don't know. Next week. Wait, don't blondes have more fun? That's what red they claim. Well, that's what they say, but you know, when there's red on the head, there's fire in the hole. That's what they say. <laughs> Dang. Oh, I haven't heard that one. It, that could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on uh, how you take that. Right. <laughs> Eric says Rex, Rex Christian saw that last photo and said, put a quarter in the slot. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, well, uh, who was that? Who said that? That's that's five points. Yeah, that was Eric. Eric. Eric yeah. Oh man, good stuff. Good fun. So, Justin, do you have Luke's? Uh, or wait, do you, you have a sign up page currently? You don't have a campaign page, correct, Luke? Yeah, it's just a, it's a mailing list right now for the Mercenary Guild. Yep. Do you do you have oh. some stuff you want to uh, pull up and show everybody? Do you have anything like uh, that? Well, I mean, I can actually show you some uh, some original artwork. Oh, fantastic! Uh, oh, yeah. So uh, this is uh, this is from the uh, the "I Want You for the Mercenary Guild" poster that we did. Uh, that's awesome. the promo poster that was originally released. Uh, this uh, piece of original artwork will be on the campaign, and oh, nice. if you sign up for the campaign, you will receive this uh, Elven Sorceress trading card. This is exclusive to the sign up. Uh, you won't be able to get it any other way. This is Nicole, the Elven Sorceress. She's part of the Mage Guild, which is the rival to the Mercenary Guild in the town of Saltport. And uh, this is the final line work for the main cover for the mercenary guild so this is cover a for the mercenary guild it's getting colored up by our colorist frank walk right now and uh yeah this the all three of these pieces will be available on the campaign these are all 11 by 17 and inked with a uh, hunt 107 hawk quill nib very dope thank you nice so, yeah uh, it's going to be a 76 page graphic novel uh, dark fantasy adventure, kind of in the vein of, uh, you know, uh, Robert E. Howard, R.A. Salvatore, 1980s fantasy, you know, Savage Sword of Conan, that kind of thing. Uh, we've got a colorist, but the way I'm drawing it, it could it could be black and white or color. So, you got me at Salvatore. Right? Salvatore's yeah. great, man. Uh, our, our writer, Morb, uh, you see him in the, in the chat. Uh, he's very much influenced by uh, R.A. Salvatore and uh, Robert E. Howard, two of his favorite authors. Nice. So. Yeah, man. So yeah, the campaign uh, ca the uh, the campaign will be coming up. I think this later on this year. We're trying to get more of the book done and get ready uh, for the uh, the end of this year. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm doing my best to uh, to get it done as quickly as possible. Nice. But yeah, oh, I, I think if you awesome. like if you like dark fantasy, if you like you know swords and sorcery, and you know uh, good guys <laughs> fighting bad guys, uh, you're gonna like this book. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, we will be having a five-page preview uh, out uh, here soon once we get it uh, get it all lettered. Actually, Eric Weathers is uh, lettering our book as well. Nice. Yeah. I so. love her. Thank you. Yeah, she's uh, she's she's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. She's 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 definitely a badass too. Uh, she, <laughs> she she gets her her time to shine in the uh, in the book, and uh, yeah. The uh, the the friction between the uh, the mercenary guild and the mages guild is palpable. 
They, uh, needless to say, they do not get along. <laughs> no. Yeah. The well, see the mage guild. The mage guild's like you know trying to come in and take over the town, and the mercenary guild's like, oh hell no, we've been here. You know, you haven't. <laughs> so, you know, trying trying to lay down the law when they did nothing to uh, quell the uh, the goblin orc war that happened. You know, because uh, it takes place in a war torn town that's uh, you know re rejuvenating, uh, rebuilding, as it were. So yeah. Uh, on the cover here, you've got uh, Bane Specter in the front. He's the leader, uh, kind of the, the warrior fighter archetype. Uh, and then you've got Malchus. He's the uh, the Wolfman uh, Rogue. Uh, he's actually uh, got stuck like this, and you find out how he got stuck like that uh, in the pages of the book. And then you've got Zeth Ifrit, who is the uh, the Wizard of the Mercenary Guild. So this uh, this story is actually based on characters that uh, uh, more uh, played in an online rpg about 30 some odd years ago remember the old uh the old aol forum uh type rpgs well these are these are characters that uh, he came up with way back when wow. so they've been kicking around in his head for a while he actually <coughs> did a novel a novel version of this uh story and then uh hooked up with shattermare comics to uh create a comic book and then uh, brian from shattermare was like hey i got this uh, i got this story uh, you looking to do some pages? Like, yeah, send me the send me the story. And I, I read through the story, and it uh, sounded like a fun story. And so I, I jumped on board, and we've been developing it uh, since I guess uh, around September, October of last year. Yeah. Hope getting some signups. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we're uh, we're 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 getting. We've got quite a few. We've gotten quite a few so far, uh, but we're looking to get as many as possible before we launch at the at the end of this year. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Nice, fantastic. Yeah. That's good um, stuff, man. Thank That's you, really sir. Cool. Appreciate it. Really good. Uh, like thank you. There are uh, there are actually chronal compressions of all three of these uh, these pieces up on. Yes, my, yes, uh, and we have one of those prepared for this evening, sir. Excellent. Yes, Woo. we do. I believe we have not played this one yet. So, yes. Awesome. Very was cool. Morbid the Red Dragon in? He might have been. Uh, you know, he hangs out in odd places. <laughs> been a couple people show up. I want to say uh, welcome K-Pop Junkie. What's up? Some hey, K-Pop. And uh, Shadow Punk. Shadow Punk. Hey, Yo, Shadow Punk. I that's all hey, the man. newcomers. Hey, and all of you newcomers will also get points for, manly points for showing up. All right. Good stuff. <laughs> And um, real quick, why don't we go ahead and go into that draw video? Ow. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Ah, oh, there it is. All right. This is uh, uh, chron chrono chronal compression. <laughs> chron easy for <laughs> there you go. <laughs> By Luke, Death Metal Hero. What's up, you magnificent maniacs, and welcome to another episode of Chronal Compression. Today, we've got Bane Spectre, leader of the Mercenary Guild. Now, this piece was originally done as a promo poster for the Mercenary Guild when we launched the sign-up, which you can find in the description of this video below. And just as a reminder, if you sign up for the email list now, you will receive a very special, exclusive... Elven Sorceress Trading Card when you buy the book. And as you can see, I'm using my favorite Hunt 107 nib. This is a Hawk Quill nib, and I'm using Speedball Super Black Ink this time. Now, the reason why I like the Hunt 107 is because it gives me the versatility that I'm looking for in a nib. It allows me to get super fine lines, like when I was putting the stubble on uh, Bane's chin. And it also allows me to get thick to thin lines when doing the outlines. Gives me super thin lines when I'm doing the hatching and cross hatching. And it can be used to fill in small areas of black. Adding some detail and shadow to the pauldron. 
Another reason why I like this nib is it's good for making little form lines to show the cloth is wrapping around the figure rather than just kind of making the cloth look like it's painted on the figure. Again, that thick to thin line, the variation and the versatility of this nib is just unparalleled. At least in my opinion. Detailing out the belt, adding in some shadows. And one thing I've noticed about working on a piece like this is you want to start from one side and work to the other. That's why I kind of started in the top left and I'm working my way down to the bottom right. That way, you reduce the risk of getting your hand in wet ink. Nothing worse than getting the palm of your hand in wet ink and then smearing it across your beautiful illustration. And now, of course, I'm coming in with my Raphael number no. 3 brush to fill in those solid black areas. And adding a little depth to some of the other lines underneath the belt and the pauldron strap. And the signature. And here's the final piece. This is Bane Specter, leader of the Mercenary Guild, and this piece will be available on the campaign. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, so, buddy, that man, that's good stuff. Thanks, yeah, man. You. That was this one right here. Yep, let me, yes, so let me make you bigger. There it is. This one, Rachia. And uh, yeah, I actually went and, and did a little bit more of a, a detailed version of this with some shadows and mm -hmm. uh, did like a, a wanted style poster uh, for, uh, you know, for the new, uh, the new uh, <laughs> promo piece. I'll, uh, as a matter of fact, I think I can actually bring that up. But uh, yeah, uh, this is this is Bane, and uh, that uh, that song in the background, I believe, was a, uh, a metal version of uh, Niccolo Paganini. Uh, ah. I don't know if the they call him the Devil's Violinist. Mm. Uh, Feline actually got me oh. listening to Paganini, uh, and uh, yeah, I like to find metal, metal versions of, of classical music and uh, use them in the background of my videos. That's cool. Nice. I'm just glad you didn't ask me to say that. <laughs> it's all right. I got you. Good stuff. I got you. Sorry, Fanta. I talked over top of you. My apologies. <laughs> Thanks, no, no, person. No. I appreciate that. I just said that's an awesome idea to find the classical metal mm -hmm. versions. I I love I love classical music, and uh, yeah, it's my I opinion that cl the classical music was heavy metal before there was electricity. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, yeah. you listen to some cellos, man. That's some heavy fucking shit. Mm -hmm. Well, it can be, can be, not always. Yeah. Uh, have you have you ever listened to uh, two cellos? The yeah. band two cellos. They're fucking great. If you like cello, you should definitely check them out. Yeah, yeah. yeah she loves good. Paganini, and she she turned me on to Paganini. The like fuck? I said, my favorite troublemaker. Shellac <laughs> your your penis. Permanent rubber. Be a man. <laughs> uh, that's at least one point. All right. <laughs> I love Panini's too. Okay, yeah, that's a couple. Panini's penis <laughs> with mozzarella. <laughs> you, you like your paninis? What your oh paninis, not paninas. <laughs> paninis. paninis. Yeah. Paninis. Yeah. Got to be careful how you say that word. You know, people might get confused. Yeah. Can you play a death metal version of YMCA? I've yet to find one, but I'm sure somebody has done one out there somewhere. Gotta be, right? YMCA. Uh, uh, uh. There you go. YMCA. You, you'll have to do it on a, like a karaoke or something. Your man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Your man. Basically, you get Cookie Monster to uh, to sing YMCA, yeah. and you'll you'll have you'll have it. <laughs> there you go. Cookie, cookie, cookie. <laughs> Justin's new job. <laughs> it's called Pininus. Ninis. 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 Pininis. Pinini. Pinono. Talk about Pinini. 
<laughs> in order to be a real panini, you know, put it in the uh, sandwich press. Be a man. Be a man. <laughs> yeah. So, Luke, on your YouTube channel, you have some yes. shows you do. What kind of shows do you do on that YouTube channel? I do all kinds of shows. Uh, one of uh, the sh longest running show I do is uh, is Topicless with uh, with my buddy Jason uh, Unhinged Dent. We've uh, we've been doing Topicless uh, going on four years now, and wow. uh, you know always always on Tuesday night nine fifteen, and uh, we draw, we talk about stuff. Uh, as a matter of fact, that uh, video we just ran, I actually recorded while I was uh, while I was on uh, Topicless. Oh. Uh, usually, don't get to ink anything when I'm uh, when I'm hosting, uh, but when Jason's hosting, I don't have to worry about the chat. I don't have to, you know, I can I can focus on on inking something, and I was able to was able to record that. Uh, but I also do interview shows where I uh, talk to uh, creators. Uh, it's called New Book Who Dis, where I uh, have creators come on and talk about their upcoming campaigns, uh, live campaigns, stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy talking with creative people. Um, and I also have uh, What's in the Box. I've been doing that for a long time as well. Uh, mm -hmm. It's where I open up stuff live, and I have the creator come on and talk about you know what it took to make the campaign happen, uh, the the uh, triumphs and tragedies of uh, of making a comic book, and then uh, a show that I haven't done in a long time is Do You Even Read with Ink Spots. Uh, we talk, uh, we we pick a story, and we talk about uh, that story. We go over it you know, usually uh, page by page. It's usually a lot of fun, and then a show that I haven't done in even longer is. The Secret of Doom, yeah, which was actually the first show that I ever had on my channel. I uh, I was actually out in the, my garage, you know, practicing, and just decided to one day be like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go live and see who shows uh -huh. up." And I, uh, you know, it became one of my most popular shows. And I haven't been able to do that in a long time, just because uh, I I moved out of the condo, and and all of my all of my stuff is now in my you know my studio space for doing the Sing Along of Doom. But uh, there will be another one of those uh, later this nice. year. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, Pale Rider, I'm with you. I'm always too drunk for topic lists. And uh, Levi said that Frog Loop Studios does YMCA. I did not. Oh, okay. That. Oh, yes. I, I, I love that. I love Leo's stuff. Yeah. I've been been listening to him for years. Uh, I haven't seen all of his videos, yeah. though. And and, yeah. and I see that Agab gets like 20 points. Um Thanks, good stuff. Always great at letting us know about the awesome people you have on your show. Great stuff, good stuff. Anytime you want to kiss butt, you get extra points. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Flattery will get you everywhere. Exactly. I love Brown it. Brown noser. Good right. stuff has his own street, street corner. It's all good. <laughs> well. oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Continue on. I apologize. I <laughs> No, it's uh, it's okay, and uh, yeah, um, I uh, I just I, I enjoy doing the uh, the um, the shows where I talk to the creators. I mean, I think I, I have the most fun doing that, um, and talking to you know talking about comics, you know, because comics have always been a part of my life. They've always been huge in my life, and I really enjoy you know talking about the the medium and the art form, and yeah, it's it's a good time. But yeah, there's the there's a sign up page for Mercenary Guild, and uh, thank you, Feline, for dropping that link in the uh, in the chat earlier. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, isn't there uh, a I newer actually show I made the uh, say what now? Isn't there a newer show that you're doing? Uh, I've got a couple planned, um, and okay. you know I'm I'm also uh, the co-host on on Feline's channel uh, on her show, uh, the Happy Hour Hangout. You know, I help yep. I help wrangle the chat, especially when they're getting rowdy during the the trivia. Um, <laughs> you know, and the yeah, trivia is uh, fun. I enjoy that. The trivia is a blast. Uh, yeah. Even if I do terribly on it, I always learn something. Uh, Dude, so yeah, it, but it's fun. Yeah, I do too. Absolutely. Except when she tries to recycle the question, I don't remember it from the last time. So she always well, gets see, me. I always I always remember the wrong answer uh, <laughs> that I put the last time she used yeah. the question. So yeah, it, it, the 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 questions the second time around always gets me as well. So yeah, um, but you know, I, I I miss doing the sing along of Doom. I like singing. I like uh, doing metal versions of stuff. So we miss it you know, too. It's, uh, yeah, I've I've had a lot of people, a lot of people yeah. ask me when it's coming back. I do enjoy so uh, later on this year, it'll it'll be coming back. Yeah. Yeah. And, and twenty points, Pale Rider. <laughs> I'm getting points. 
is he picking on me? If he's picking no, on me. No, no, he said good stuff. You look like a ripped Greek god Zeus. Oh there you go. God. See, flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. and, and Eric, I gave him five points because he said from Fanta's feet to her box. <laughs> I just it was funny. Wow. <laughs> wow. You mean from Fanta's feet to her teeth? <laughs> oh. Oh, hey, Margo. How you doing? Hey, Margo. Margo's here. Margo's hey, Margo. here. Oh. Hello, Margo. Are we I'm Margo? looking very dapper What's up, this Margo? evening. I have no idea what the points are, but since I'm dapper, I'm going to give you 10 points. All right. Yeah, we, we're doing manly points now, and you get something at the end. It is worth something after uh, after four weeks worth of shows. We tally up the points, and you'll get something worth absolutely nothing, so it'll be great. But you'll love it. But it will be entertaining, nonetheless. That, that it will. It's always always entertaining on here. Okay, what? Hence, okay, that was interesting fuckery going on in the Idaho quadruple murder case. I'm with you now. Okay, I don't know anything about that, but I bet Mrs. G has an idea of what yeah. you speak of. We uh, talked about it. Yes. Um, I I had an extra video that I was not or maybe going to play, but I feel like we're going to have enough time. I feel like we are. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in there. Where to go? Where to go? Uh, you know what? Since I can't find it, let's go into Eric's oddities. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, this is fun. Thank you, Eric, for this. This is really cool. And experience the wonder of Pookie Park. At Pookie Park, you'll enter a world of imagination and adventure like never before. Oh and oh, what a magical place it is. Meet our friendly puppet pals. Our colossal howdy duty type puppets roam freely and are here to make your visit unforgettable. You can play with Jesus. them, have a chat, and they'll even sit with you while this. you enjoy a tasty treat. But beware. When the park siren sounds, it's time to run for your lives. <laughs> the chase is on. Because they will the eat you. The is at a whole new level when the puppets start chasing you. <laughs> Stay on your toes, because if they catch you, you might just become one of them forever. Frozen in puppet glory, <laughs> living an eternal life of strings and wooden whimsy. It's a transformation like no other. But don't let that frighten you. It's all in the spirit of fun. Just look at the joy on their faces as they run for dear life from these massive marionettes. You can hear the laughter and the screams of sheer terror. Oh yes, they're big. They're a tad bit intimidating, but that's the magic of Pookie Park. Our customers can't help but return, no matter how frightened they may be. It's a unique experience that brings families closer together. Quite literally, we've had countless customers confess that they've never felt so attached. Join the puppet parade and become part of the spectacle that attached. draws thousands yes. of visitors from far and wide. But folks, be ready, because when that siren wails, it's time to move. Can you outrun the lively puppets and escape their magic? It's a one-of-a-kind adventure that'll have your heart racing, but don't let the fear deter you. The thrill of escape is what makes Pookie Park so memorable. Pookie Park isn't just about puppets. We've got thrilling rides, delicious snacks, and fun games for the kids, ensuring endless laughter and joy. And when you're thirsty, our top-notch soda jerks are ready to serve you the finest refreshments, perfect for quenching your thirst after a day of excitement. There's something for everyone. Embrace the adventure and face your fears. It could be a lifetime of strings attached, but who could resist such a captivating adventure? Gather your family and join us at Pookie Park, where the magic of imagination meets the thrill of escape. Make memories you'll cherish for a lifetime. Oh my God. It's like an awful L black and white LSD dream.
I know, right? Felt like I was being <laughs> hypnotized or something. <laughs> it's got the got the weird floatiness of uh, of of AI. Yeah. <laughs> Play that that time at kindergarten. Uh-huh. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, but they guess. put a little mescaline in your juice before you went to bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look look at the joy on their faces as they run for their lives. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was well done. Joy. Kidding. Joy, horror, you know, same, same, but different, but still same. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but yet it's the same. Uh, uh Justin had sock puppets for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly, five points. I mean, it, it, at least they're not voodoo dolls, right? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm awful quiet. Sock puppet voodoo dolls. <laughs> some person would like the link for that video. Let me see if I can find that for you. Hey, some person. <laughs> if I says what AI thinks is fun, yes. <laughs> Beware of the AI overlords. Usurp them at every corner. Right. Yep. (laughs) All right. I have that link for you. Everybody's like, oh, AI is so great. Embrace it. No. There it is. All right. What's up, Corey? Hey, that reminds me. Corey reminds me we need to look at Pale Rider's poll. Yes. (laughs) Uh, and he's super happy about it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. uh, that reminds me. He's got a pole in his pocket, and he's happy to see you at the same time. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this here is baton boobs. Yes, and that is definitely her cleavage. Yes, yeah, she's gonna rough you up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. If you like that sort of thing, if you ask me. Exactly. This here is put it in my hand. <laughs> and Luke seems to think that this is not proper police attire. I just don't think it's, uh, you know, it's standard issue. You know, it might be a special <laughs> special uh, outfit dispensation or something like that. Right, right yeah. Oh. It's for you. Working Maybe. on the hooker squad. <laughs> right. Yeah, she's going undercover. She's, she's special vice squad, totally. Yeah, special vice <laughs> squad. Going undercover at the porn uh at the porn studio. That's that's okay. she. That's how she gets uh, the snitches to you know snitch. Mm-hmm. That is true. <laughs> so this here is strip search. This has gone in the opposite direction that strip shirts usually go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't say who she was strip searching, or yeah. if he was the one strip searching. She was stri- stripping because she was searching for something that she dropped right. you know, yes. down her shirt. Clearly. Exactly. Oh, I mean, it, it happens all the time. Cool. I'll drop that link in just yeah, a moment. It. I got it. All right. And here is Under Me Arrest. <laughs> yeah, let's just get the, the proportions right there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, all right, all right. Now. I will see where we're at. Copy that. And we're going to refresh. And there has been movement on Pale Rider's Pool. Can you believe it, folks? Uh-oh. We have a tie for first place. No. Strip search okay. and under me arrest are tied with eight votes each. Baton Boobs is in third place with five. And put it in my hand is still bringing it up in the rear with the incorrect improper uniform. Two votes. <laughs> so, Did I hear you the, say, everybody, that, that votes for the girl, my girl gets extra points? I thought I heard you say that. I, I don't think that was one of the ways. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, God. I think, uh, I think Fanta's trying to rig the vote here. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On the ballot. Oh, in America, right? I'd give her my social security number. <laughs> <laughs> and Margo says. Expect Bobby's a bunch of robocalls. Right. <laughs> Bobby's at work or Booby's at work? <laughs> uh, the second, definitely. We got oh. haters. Oh, not very pretty. Uh, uh oh. Oh, not very pretty. It happens, you know. Sometimes. I voted for put it in my hand. I'll put it in your hand, big fella. <laughs> Justin, you always put it in your hand. <laughs> well, I voted for it. 
<laughs> Feels a special you, connection. Right. Yes. Um, Fanta Margo wants to know who she is voting for. Baton boobs. No. Yeah, baton boobs. Strip tease. Strip search. The dark haired no. one. The, o- no. the only no. dark haired one. Yeah. Strip search. Strip search. And says I didn't pick the brunette because I wasn't totally sure if she was of legal age. Oh, oh my god! Come on. come on, she's totally. Oh Damn. shit! Tail writer says my poll has throbbed. <laughs> <laughs> Happy for you. Oh, much better oh. poll than last time. Corey says. Oh wow! K-pop says totally baton boobs. Oh. And Corey says strip search has to win. Yes. Has to win. We're in a yes. half to situation, folks. There's no getting around it. None at all. There's been some good moves. Gotta have a tiebreaker. Gotta have a tiebreaker. Oh, oh shit. Know. Uh-oh. There have been uh-uh. movements. There has been there's been movement on Pale Riders Pole, Fanta. Mm, lots of movement. Strip search is now in the lead with 10 votes. While Under Me Arrest has eight votes in second place, Baton Boob six votes in third, and Put It In My Hand is still bringing it up. In oh, the- 11 votes now. Jesus Christ. That's 11 Good votes. Good stuff. Moving on up. Did you do a Justin poll this week? Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, it's, uh, it's on mine. Oh. And on it's my a- channel. <laughs> Who's going to help break the tiebreaker for the shank off? Shank <laughs> off. <laughs> That's funny. All right, all right. You know, the, the, the tie has been broken. Yes, it has. It has been broken. We did. Oh, wait, what's up, Mad Ruth? For the shank Mad Ruth. Hey, what's hey, up, Mad Ruth? Ruth? The maddest of all Mad Ruths. Mad Ruth. Welcome, <laughs> sir. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm yeah. a little disappointed I haven't been able to take anybody's man card yet, to be honest with you. <laughs> Everybody is uh, minding their manly P's and Q's. Right, clearly. yeah, they're, they're, yeah. they're on their best manly behavior. I'm not going to be the first. Fuck that. <laughs> right? I'm not going to be the first one. <laughs> yeah, man. Give me a fair name. <laughs> That's why I got left. Okay. So... I think it is time for where did that there it is. It is time for Good Stuff's Manly Question. We like to ask manly questions here at the Man Cave, Luke, and we always start off with our guest first. So the manly question Mm -hmm. of the week is, if you won the lottery, would you buy a classic hot rod or a new sports car? Uh, Classic hot rod uh, made of actual, you know, steel, uh, Mm -hmm. better engine. You know, you can actually get your arm into the engine compartment to work on it. it. uh, And uh, no kill switch installed. So classic hot rod for me. Right. And if there's ever a uh, uh, one of the AMPs, you can still use them if you just switch out the solenoid. Uh, That's right. right. All right. Uh, And and especially with a uh, a manual transmission. Uh Give me a manual transmission over an automatic any day. Yeah. I used to think millennial that, anti-theft device is what I like to call those. That it is. And if we write in cursive, that's our code. We don't even have to mm-hmm. come up with a code. They won't be able to figure that shit out. It's secret. <laughs> fucked. Uh-huh. F-U-C-T. Fucked. Exactly. <laughs> cursive <laughs> and pig Latin. Uh, that's there right. You go. Yes, pig <laughs> Latin is always a good one. Um, do you have a specific classic hot rod that you would enjoy most? Hmm. Uh, probably an old Barracuda. Barracuda. Yeah, like seventy Barracuda. Barracuda. Yeah, yeah. Those are those are. I mean, do you remember the that that show Nash Bridges? I used to watch that with my dad Uh back in the day. Oh yeah, my dad liked uh, that show as well. Yeah, and the the dude always had a a beautiful car. I mean, that car was awesome. You know. Uh, so yeah, probably probably something like that. Very cool. Nice. What about uh, Fanta? What about you? 
black. Yep. Any specific kind you like? No. No. Just black hot rod. I can't. Black my mind my went blank. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Quit asking me so many questions. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Is this a trick question? Classic hot rod. I like rat rods too. Well, yeah, the rat main, rods are fun. Yeah, that could be considered in with the classic hot rod, I think. Okay, yeah. then yeah. yeah. I'd go with Do you know why rod. they called them rat rods? Why is that? Because they used was. rattle cans to paint them as opposed to like yeah. taking them and getting them professionally painted. That's yeah. why they called them rat rods. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So just about any classic car could be a rat rod if you uh, you know take a rattle can to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, who's that uh, artist? Um, the rat fink guy. Ed. Um, oh, he passed away. Oh shit! Yeah, uh, love is, rat fink. Uh, Ed. Fuck, I can't think of his name. But yeah, he passed away like uh, like five years ago, something like that. Mm. And that that he was had some great fucking artwork. That shit was awesome. But it was it was uh, really synonymous around all the rat rods. He did uh, didn't he do pinstriping as well? Uh, Ed Big Daddy Roth. That's it, Ed Roth. Yep. I knew it was something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a classic classic of the hot rod rat rod mm -hmm. scene. Let's see. Uh, Hen says my dream car is an old convertible mini. Pale Rider wow. says 69 Camaro. 69 that's another Camaro. good one. That's that's back when, when Camaros really were muscle cars. And I mean, yeah. if you go back to like the old, uh, yeah. the old uh, you know, uh, Mustangs from back in the day, those were actually muscle cars. They're not anymore. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Jesus, PayPal. <laughs> <gonna be. laughs> hey, welcome, Shadowhawk. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, Shadowhawk. Hey, hey, Shadowhawk. Says, uh, I had the discussion earlier, 69 Charger, not painted like the General Lee original. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah K-pop Char says classic chargers are fucking great too. Uh, yeah. yeah, sixty-seven Mustang, mm -hmm. Shadowhawk, seventy old Cutlass, three hundred and fifty Rocket. Nice. I had a. Um, it was a sixty-nine two-door Delta eighty-eight with the three hundred and fifty. Oh. I think it was a Rocket. Nice. I can't remember for sure. And, and it had the uh, what what they call it. Um, can't remember what they called it, but the, there were no pillars, and the rear window part would roll down as well. And there was no pillar, so it was completely open when you rolled all the windows down. Even though, it was oh, nice, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was pretty slick. I like that vehicle. Did they did they have suicide doors? Is that the, no, 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 no? It was open? just two door. It was just two okay. door, and uh, there was no because the uh, rear window, that little like uh, triangle portion of the rear window, yeah, it had a bar on it door. that would go down, yeah. Yeah, normally there would be a pillar there. That these mm -hmm. didn't have the pillar. It was, and they opened, and not all of them would open either. So, yes. Uh, what about you, Ray Ray? Uh, I'm tossing up between the '69 Chevy Nova SS or the '69 Ford Mustang Boss. Nice. Yeah, back nice. when Mustangs were actually still uh, muscle cars uh, when they were hot rods. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. And, uh, yeah, Gob says, I knew a big daddy. I did know a big daddy. He, he was a fun <laughs> guy. Uh, and after this, I'll tell you a fun story about him. I thought Good Stuff was the big daddy. Well, I'm, I'm almost like the new big daddy because he had a big white beard and kind of looked like Santa Claus like me. So, But he was way, way, way more perverted than me, if you can imagine that. It's I really find that true. hard to believe. No, no, no it's <laughs> it's true. A guy backed me up. Who was more perverted, me or Big Daddy? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. All right. I gently press the ex. Where to go? What? Something about I gently press the accelerator. I was getting hot. That was cool. Can I add to crash. my answer? Yes. Yes, you can. Um, the boy's dad. I think it was a '67. 68 Lincoln black with suicide doors. That's oh, what yeah, I yeah. The, uh, wow. the Lincoln uh, Continental, I believe it is. Yeah. It's uh, like the, oh, like um, the Lincoln's car. The, the yeah. old presidential vehicles were those, mm. and they had the suicide doors on them. Those are fucking badass, man. Mm -hmm. I do like those cars and the old hot rod Lincoln. Mm. Who, yeah. Yep. Justin, what about you? 
Uh, I think I'm going to peacock it and go with the uh, Batman uh, Batmobile from the 80s, uh, Michael Keaton one. That, that, wasn't that was actually movie. based on a Lincoln. Oh, oh, oh sweet. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'll accept it. I'll accept it. <laughs> the best Batmobile design ever. Just saying. Yeah. Right. The Absolutely. coolest Batmobile ever created. Yep. Hands down. Yeah. Oh, we've actually yeah. drove a 63 vet to prom oh. three times. Had a Dodge Demon and a Mustang. Three times? Car. Yeah. Yeah. What he said. My girl, my girl got good taste. Mm -hmm. Mustang yep, Cobra. Yep, yep. Utility vehicle. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a utility vehicle. But that wasn't so the Levi, you went to prom three times? Yeah, how'd you manage that? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I guess if you uh, failed three times. Oh, that's a takeaway. Oh, you, you said that, <laughs> that they went three times? Or if you're an underclassman and you get invited. Well, I was yeah. about to say, yeah. Yeah, yeah what if your, your girlfriend or whatever goes to a different school and you go to both? Yeah. There's also mm -hmm. that. That's two, but where's the third thing? He had a secret girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> Pale Rider says, of course Fanta likes the old Lincoln with the big back seat. Shut <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, PayPal>. up, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, man. All right. For me, uh, I'm definitely going with the classic hot rod. Um, I'm a... Mustang lover at heart, but really anything with the uh, Cobra Jet because a few different um, a few different Mustangs had them. The uh, Grand Torino had it. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. I think something else had it too. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure that's what uh, James Dean died in. It was a uh, Shelby Cobra, right? I think so. Uh, I believe yeah. so. Yeah, I believe so. I uh, I'm actually too tall uh, to fit into a Shelby oh, Cobra. Oh, the Spider. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. Yep. Uh, both uh, both me and Dan Fraga uh, lamented uh, the fact that we're we're both too tall. Uh, yeah. That's his favorite car, and, and he is too tall, and he's he's about as tall as I am. So, yeah, we're both too tall for that car. So I'll take something a little my, bit bigger. My sister's dad was six foot four and could fit into a smart car. Yeah, but was he comfortable? Yeah. Okay. I have pictures of him. I, I wouldn't want a smart car like that just because it, it you basically look like you're driving around a, a roller skate. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I feel like I should sit on the top of the thing and, uh, you know, reach in through the windows and go, great ape, great ape. I got shoes bigger than some of those cars. <laughs> smart car accident. I told you not to hit that squirrel. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Hey, have you seen the one that they put a Hibusa motor in? <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, that's funny stuff. That's good stuff. Good stuff. That's what oh, Agob says it wasn't a Cobra; it was a Porsche. Huh, really? Oh. I could have sworn it was a Cobra. What? Oh, just like Paul Walker. Mm. No, it was a Porsche 550 Spider. Ah, uh, okay, Spider. Okay, yes, I remember hearing that. That's right. <laughs> Justice car. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does fit in the cupboard, right? Or the it closet. Does fit in the closet. I knew what you meant. I knew what you closet meant. Okay. Okay. Justice got power. Same, wheel. same, but different. But right, same. it's the same, but it's mm -hmm. different. Justin's car is a micro machine. Yeah. <laughs> like a lube. All right. I think we're going to take a little musical break real quick. I mean, we got Death Metal Hero on. He's a musical kind of guy. So I thought I'd bring nice. in some music. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's good. Come to a leaper with the peppermint bait, the chalupas in the fridge already. Fuck a door, not California. 
your buttermilk pancakes and mines. <laughs> Stepped on a toe, broken Navajo code. Now it's time to reiterate California. I got a thumbtack on my nutsack. Pies 3.1415. <laughs> hey, yo. Yeah, once you see these, you can't not hear these know, lyrics exactly. afterwards. <laughs> I've had this song stuck in my fucking head for three days. I, I don't really like the buffalo. Hey, <laughs> oh, Dude, I love the buffalo. Jelly beans and nicotine are streaming through my grandma's spleen, and I just scrubbed <laughs> my toe. <laughs> Stumbling through the pages <laughs> of a Webster's earns me wages. There's so many words to go. <laughs> Tickle my thumb with the mannequin thumb on a bongo drum in California. <laughs> Snuffleupagus saved my asparagus supernova <laughs> toilet clog. Contracting on on the 101. Gotta have some fun in California. There's a sunspot on my kumquat. Nancy Reagan bit my dog. Hey, <laughs> I don't know what I said. No, I got your hey, I don't know what I said. No, no, no. There, I ruined it. Uh -huh. Yeah, accurate. Got some great videos. Here's my favorite. Hey. Betty Wetter. Made them sound better. All right, five points, what? Eric. That's funny. Oh, uh, Californication was the Red Hot Chili Peppers' best album, and uh, yeah, I really great. haven't paid much attention yeah. to anything after that, honestly. Love the Chili Peppers. Anthony, I... can you keep your watching? I disavow. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I liked the Chili Peppers when I first heard them back whenever the whenever they first came out. And they uh, got what uh, blood sex, blood sugar, sex, magic before, that, before that, album. that one. Oh, there? okay. The, the one the, with like that. fight like a brave and shit like that. Um, but they Suck played my it. Kiss. Yeah, uplift mofo party plan. And the uh, they did the roller coaster one and all of that from uh, mm -hmm. Ohio players. The Beavis and Butthead. Uh, yeah, uh, Beavis and Butthead soundtrack. Yep. Thank but you. um but anyway they got played so much on the radio that i just mm -hmm. i got so sick of flipping hearing it at all and i just got turned off to everything about them and so now i just really cannot even listen to them you know i have a connection to them because of their sock wearing oh yes it does make sense <laughs> uh -huh, five points my, my first concert i went to was actually woodstock 99 because it's in my area when I, yeah. when I grew up uh, and I, I saw the Red Hot Chili Peppers and it was right around the time when that California or yeah, Californication album was coming out and they had uh, yep. scar tissue and they played all, all the all the songs from the album. Oh, much. yeah. There's nice. a, a whole bunch of hits on that song or on that album. That's so a pretty here's scar. Levi with his 63 vet. Wow. Nice. Is that the split rear window? Is that Wait, the 63 vet that had is that the split rear window? Is that date one, two, or three? <laughs> yeah, which date the mullet. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's perfect. That's perfect. Did and you say all three days? Business in the front, are. potty in the back. Yeah, that's awesome. I love the side pipes. I've always loved side pipes on cars. Cool. I like I all kinds of pipes. Beautiful car. You do like all kinds of pipes. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And his socks are long <laughs> enough. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, he's got the little footies, so this was still a little too long, right? <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff, man. That's a nice car. Yeah, that's really a manly. Oh yeah, Levi. That's awesome, dude. Points. Ten points for Levi. 
That's 10 points right there, man. That's a man. Word. That is ugly. Hen loses three points. Minus oh, three right? for Hen. Uh, well, Hen doesn't like uh, mushrooms. She doesn't like coffee. And, uh, you know, she says words funny. So, you know, it's to no, be expected. She doesn't like garlic. Uh, she doesn't like she doesn't garlic? Like garlic. No. Nope. Mm-mm. She should lose a bunch more points for that, too. I think she's okay with mushrooms. I don't like mushrooms. Sniffing a What's wrong with you? Under the bridge. I wasn't in the Antiquidius <laughs> closet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you guys are supposed to remind me to tell you a story about Big Daddy. Um, Big Daddy was this uh, guy I worked with. Um, he's funny, funny dude. He would tell this oh, okay, story. so she likes mushrooms. Okay. I love mushrooms. What, that, that redeems you a little bit, Hen. All right, so I need minus one point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, I probably had a 327. Yeah. Levi did it have a 327. Ooh, oh. side pipes. Hell yeah. She had a badass car. I like Cobra. I always have. Mm-hmm. Beautiful mm-hmm. car. Powerful car. All right, so Big Daddy. He, he sound, tell the sound story. like a, a demon screaming out of hell with them side pipes, too. Yeah, pretty much. Four speed. Four speed. Four speed, 327. Oh, damn. My Mushrooms dad put time. side pipes on a van <laughs> once. <laughs> What's up, candy in the back seat? <laughs> yeah, I want to start microdosing on the uh, panel. Oh, uh, you should. I, I second that. I think you should. Do that. Microdosing um, is good for the third eye. They decriminalized uh, mushrooms in Colorado, so I can have them. Now you can take them. I can take them, but there I can't go. buy them anywhere. Where can I get them? Oh, I don't know. I'm I sure the. I'm sure you know some store will have them sooner rather than later. I would think so. Most likely, sir. Where there's a market, there's a way. Yes. Oh, yes. One hundred percent. You'd think dispensaries would have them. They will. They they will. I'm sure. Why they? they? Will. Yeah. Just find the next drive. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just make sure they're not laced with something awful. Mm. Too true. That's a bit difficult, isn't it? That's why I'll never take mushrooms again, because the first time I took mushrooms, they laced it, and I, I had oh. two grams, and I munched it all at the same time and swallowed. Ah. Oh. So sick. Shit, man. So there the first go. 20 minutes, I'm like, nah, nothing's happening. Next 20 minutes, holy fuck. Last Where's 20 it? minutes, blah. <laughs> I'm done. Then it's over again. And then it went on and on every hour, every 20 minutes. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, Oregon's got it going, man. Oregon has a store already. No Time shit. for a day drive. There you go. Right? Man, points for Road Ray. trip. That is true. Yeah, Ray should get uh, points for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, minus five? Good call. <laughs> All right. Take some points away from him. What? Justin swallowed Tony's Ketus. <laughs> I, I don't think that's worth a couple. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. <coughs> mushroom bars that probably still yep. taste gross though right more than likely because uh the psilocybin mushrooms if i'm remembering correctly don't have a wonderful flavor no i didn't like the taste of them so what i did is i used to um grind them up into like little sawdust and then uh i'd buy some blank uh empty capsules or buy some uh vitamin that had a big capsule, then empty it out, and then put the uh shroom dust into the capsules and then swallow the capsules yeah, you you can get already pre you know measured out uh, micro dosing capsules now. These oh, days. can you? Oh yeah. I was ahead of the yeah. curve. <laughs> yes. Yep. You don't have to make your own anymore. There's uh, there's there's a market oh. for this now. Yep. Yeah. They're called flea markets. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to know the right person at the flea market. That's all. Yeah. I used to have a little I'm capsule with, uh, with my coke in it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but we worked at a, a pizzeria in Cape Town, and the uncle would always come past and drop off a gram. Uh, there you like go. we were managers, so I'd go to the bathroom, have a line, and he'd go to the bathroom, have a line, and then it's fucking Valentine's Day, and we got people queued up outside just waiting to get pizzas, mm-hmm. and we're on the pass, just going, <laughs> cutting new pizza. Oh, just 
moving that pizza out, moving yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Record day that night. Right, uh, and I'm hey, with Eric Boyd. Uh, portobello mushrooms laced with garlic butter. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Oh. But speaking of pizza, I got a bone to pick with Shakey's Pizza. Where I come from, the customer's oh. always right. Last Tuesday night, I stopped by my closest Shakey's establishment to take in a fine WNBA game because a I'm a true American and love sports. B, I'm a slave to those damn all-you-can-eat hot wings they've got. And C, seeing all those tall bitches sweating and running up and down the court, rubbing all up on one another. That hardens my baloney pony like you wouldn't believe. At halftime, I get up and saunter over to the men's room, drain the old flesh weasel. Along the way, I come across one of those old-timey pre-video game love tester machines and decide to give it a whirl. Now, I'm not a historian, so I just intuitize that you're supposed to play the game by wrapping your wiener around the front handle and yanking at it with all your might to see how many lights you need to succumb to your Wang Chung's tensile fortitude. Now, I've barely got my quarter in the machine and my lap junk out when the manager runs over and starts yelling at me. He says there's a group of eight-year-olds celebrating a birthday party a mere six feet from where I'm playing. I tell them that the little booger eaters are going to have to wait their turn if they want to play the game. And I'm not even sure that their little peckers are going to fit around that handle. So it's probably just going to be a waste of their parents' quarters. He runs off, and I go back to testing my meat might against the game. Ten minutes later, the manager comes back with two county sheriff officers in tow. I tell him, hey man, this pinball machine ain't going to make love to itself. Now move out of the way and let me finish playing this game of Miss Pac-Man with my crotch. Next thing I know, they bum rush me, causing me to spill the last of my four-pack of Jack Daniels Country Coolers that I had smuggled inside a colostomy <laughs> bag I had taped to the small of my back. They tossed me out the front door into the parking lot without refunding my money or letting me enter my initials into the game's high score leaderboard. The hell with them. I'm having my birthday party at Taco Bell Express next year anyway. A lot of hot bitches at work there got real nice asses. And I'm usually drunk enough not to notice they got mustaches as thick as mine. God bless America. Uh-huh. And up your butt, Shakey's Pizza. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that was a harsh one, man. That's great. Oh, what's up, Woodrow? Appreciate you showing up, Woodrow. Up. Hey, Woodrow. Hey, my band mate. Woodrow. Hey, Woodrow. Good it's, to uh, see. It's funny that you that you've got uh, action figure therapy, man. I remember uh, when that when that channel first started on YouTube, like fucking. 10 15 years ago i mean it's it's been on youtube for a long time i didn't see it from the beginning i saw it i don't know like maybe seven years ago eight years ago somebody at work Mm. had shown me the 101 penis names i think it was that one it was either that or (laughs) club etiquette and i just fucking lost it i'm like holy fucking shit (laughs) yeah that uh that dude started around the same time as the uh, angry video game nerd on uh on youtube like way back in the day been doing that for almost 20 years now i imagine yeah i got some stories from woodstock ah yes didn't get diphtheria did you it wasn't like you saw on netflix or whatever they got some documentary making it look like it was like the worst thing ever i heard it was Um, because they set a couple of fires and Uh, there was a lot there was a lot of weed smoking uh man i can remember the wind was like blowing and it's just blowing like thousands and thousands of uh, people's weed uh you know smokers weed just flowing through the air you know what i mean tens of thousands hundreds of thousands sounds like big day out here in melbourne (laughs) (laughs) contact Uh, i just being in the area i remember uh (laughs) what's his name there uh james brown was the opening act uh, for Woodstock '99, I remember that. And then at the end of Woodstock, it James was uh, Jimi Hendrix hologram playing the guitar. Oh, that wow! Was pretty cool. Yeah, like a laser. Cool. Wow! And then they had uh, Mini Me was on stage. I remember, and he was like, "Where's the bestest is at?" <laughs> and, um, <laughs> everybody kept telling Cheryl Crow to show her tits. Uh, did uh. she? I don't know. Uh, no, she goes. You don't have enough money to see these, or something like that. Oh, so she will if you have enough money. So she's a whore. I know she didn't name her price. <laughs> right? Oh. She's. If you have to ask, it costs too much. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I saw I saw Godsmack. There was before they were like popular. They were Ooh. on the upcoming stage, and I was oh, like, yeah. you know, just feet from them. And I remember, uh, uh, I think it was live. 
remember that band live? It's called yeah. live. They were there. Love live. Um, and uh, what's his name there? DMX. He was the mm. only hip hop act, I believe, at uh, Woodstock. Huh. Oh, Ninety nine. Whatever happened to DMX? He passed he away. Died. Uh, yeah, he, he oh. died a few years ago. No wonder he's yeah. shaking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he stopped making he's music a long time ago, and I think I think he he went into uh, the ministry. Uh, I think he he changed his life and decided to be a uh, a minister. I remember seeing oh, some show I where he was he, like talking. Mean... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I I think he was uh, he he had some show on like MTV two where he was talking to inner city kids about God and stuff. So, oh, wow. and then, yeah. there was a bunch of people at Woodstock that um, everybody was set up a tent because it was three days. Some people thought they were smart and they set up a tent next to a porta potty or a line. Yeah, that, how'd that work out oh. for them? Well, yeah. after the porta potty started overflowing for a couple of days, they had mm. to abandon their uh, campsites because it was filled with mm -hmm. uh, you know, feces yeah. and fucking piss. Oh yeah, well they and they were they were trying to charge people like you know nine dollars for a small bottle of water or something like that. And people broke oh, up yeah. a water pipe and then it mixed with the shit and everybody oh. started getting sick. Because uh, they were drinking tainted water, yeah. Oh, uh, it's worse uh, than tainted times. water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the food prices were expensive. I remember that, and uh, but you know it was still fun. There was two stages or three, upcoming mm -hmm. stage and then the main st two main stages. Yeah. Uh, good time. Yeah. It was plus it was my first time. You know what I mean? It was like. Oh yeah. It was in my area. It took hours to get in. I remember to park. It, uh -huh, took, uh -huh. it took like probably three hours before we were in there. I remember watching uh, videos on uh, on MTV with my cousins when uh, when that that shit was going on. No, I didn't get any tats at Woodstock. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get me tooed. Not, yeah. I don't think he meant tattooed. I think he he meant me tooed. So he's a witch. Oh yeah, he's, oh. he's yeah, he's kind of became the poster child for uh, I guess Wiccan or whatever. Right, right. Back in the day. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, listen, listen to the lyrics of their songs, man. Uh, oh, yeah. And I, I, I honestly, I liked the first two albums Godsmack put out, and then everything after that just kind of fell off for me. That's kind just of where I was at. Wasn't I wasn't heavy well, enough. When I'd actually heard their, uh, I don't know if it was their first or second album. I didn't really like it, and then I went to Ozfest 2000 and saw them perform that album live, mm -hmm. and then I liked them a lot because I felt like they were pretty decent musicians. They played well, it's oh, yeah. good, and and all of that. So I liked them after that, but then, like you said, after they got past their first couple of albums, it just started. I don't know. It just didn't sound all that great to me. The, I think the last the song, song I paid attention. Yeah, they've they've got oh, a new yeah. album. I actually listened to it on YouTube, and I was like, where who Sorry. who. What the fuck happened? These guys are like, you know, ballad singing, like, you know, just rock and roll now. And it's just like, all right, what uh -huh. happened to the edge and the bite these guys used to have? And, you know, he still kind of does the the growly thing, but he's, you know, he's playing the, the piano and stuff. And I'm like, yeah. the fuck happened to these guys? Like, holy know. shit, <laughs> you know? Hey, uh, welcome, TJ. Not uh, your TJ, Fanta. The other TJ. Ah. The other TJ. TJ. What's up, TJ? And, hey, Rick. Uh, what up, Rick? Yes, what I up, did. Rick. Rick. Hey, what? Rick. Rick. What up, Jorel? Oh, what's up, Rick? What's happening? Hey, Yo. Got more points to give out. TJ and Rick showing up, typing shit in the chat right on. Manly points going out left and right. And yes, I did get to see Dimebag at the uh, 2000 Ozfest show. That was fucking awesome. But it is time for a Camacho break. We will... Be right back with the irregularly scheduled program after these messages. Inside of still the void. 
Speculation, just an educated guess, I'd say that man is alive. Come with me and see what I see. The terrible worlds that lie between. The realm observed and the realms unseen. Where the dark things live while you dream. Join me. Fight on the beholder as I drag your mind those shadows and corners where you can see like me those things you don't want to believe. Unconditional Shove, the new horror series featuring two stories and over 80 pages of compelling action-packed, terrifying fun. In our first story, I'll take you to a place where the otherworldly is made manifest. In this place, the abstract permeates the cosmology in this place, your fears will construct the most terrifying animations. Because in this place, monsters exist. And in our second story, we stumble upon an ancient friendship between monster and man. And you'll see why it might be best to keep your monsters close and your enemies even closer. In with friends like these. Unconditional Shove Volume 1, a graphic novel for all you lovers of the strange, macabre, and creepy things that we all know exist in the shadows of our universe. Unconditional Shove, back in today. In a small war-ravaged town on a remote island, an evil once thought banished still lurks deep within the land and is reawakening. In this slowly healing community torn between two factions, an outcast band of adventurers strive to rebuild their lives and make this island their new home. As darkness encroaches upon the weary citizens, only the Mercenary Guild stands in its way. Join the Guild at themercenaryguild.com to receive an exclusive Elven Sorceress trading card. Good stuff. Now, uh, yes, Luke, we, we've had a request. Ah. I think I can do that for you. Welcome to the Man Cave. Welcome to the Man Cave. We thank you for being here. How was that? Oh, that's awesome. I miss doing the sing along of Doom. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get that. I gotta get that rolling again. Yes, you do. I agree. Uh, I definitely think you should. Definitely think so. Yeah. So, uh, fun story about this uh, this microphone. I, I've used this on on the sing along of Doom, but this is also one of the uh, the microphones that my dad used to do uh, use when he was uh, on tour. Uh, he uh -huh. was he was a musician, pl play guitar, sing, you know, uh, drums. He could play, you know, bass. He could play guitar. He could uh, sing. He could play drums. You know, I still have all of his uh, his musical equipment. But yeah, this is a uh, this is a microphone from the fucking eighties, and it still works, you know, <laughs> nice. flawlessly. Nice. You know, it actually works better than my my Blue Yeti, uh, <laughs> most uh, most times. So yeah, That's good stuff, man. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> now, speaking of good stuff, it is time for supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Even oh, yeah. though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it Super loud enough, you always sound precocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Oh, yeah. 
Nice. <laughs> Fucking love Leo. Uh huh. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, that was uh, from um, Studios. Frog Leap Studios. So this is Justin's Manly Slideshow, and today we have Manly Shorts. Oh, no. <laughs> is that on no, position no. on purpose? Uh, You're snattyous? Well, upside down. Plays well with others. Oh, I'm picking up what you're throwing Thank down. you, Vulcan. Hey, look at those colors and the design and the layout. Right. <laughs> How perfect the upside down pineapple is. It's beautiful. Uh, so Justin's going to wear these to his key party. Yes, exactly. Well, he's going to wear it to the beach to see if anybody else picks up what he's throwing down. See if he gets <laughs> followers coming home. Wave a flag. Who lives on? Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Yes, that's Justin uh, Belmont. Yes, who, <laughs> who has a upside down pineapple. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I, I remember a commercial like that once. Oh, keep rubbing. You just might get your wish. <laughs> oh, oh wow! Rubbing if something's coming no. out. Something is. Well, at least I put it on the front. <laughs> Maybe Will Smith will come out. <laughs> I want these. Bye, fly, feline. Bye, Cheers, feline. feline. Ah, see you later. See you later. Bye, feline. Feline. Thanks for stopping by. Woodrow, these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I always liked uh, Wolverine's outfit. Uh huh. That uh -huh. one. And I like that's got a little, you know, a little hint of blue in there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's a uh, kind of a nod to his uh, his yeah. uh, newer version of it uh, that they did. But yeah, I like uh, I like that. I I actually like his uh, his brown and gold costume uh, a little bit better. Mm -hmm. I mean, I realize the the yellow and black and blue is is the classic, but uh, yeah, I always like the brown and gold one uh, just a little bit better. John Byrne uh, created that one. Okay. Yep. Very the original cool. Wolverine costume was created by uh, John Romita Senior, if I remember correctly. Him and Len Wein uh, created uh, created the character. Wow. And then Herb Trimp drew his first appearance in Hulk one eighty one. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I got to meet Herb. Before oh, that's cool. He was, uh, he was a classic creator, man. That's for sure. So, do we have a side view of these? <laughs> what is going these on? This is perfect place, right? I'm just curious if that sticks out here. Like, if there's a, a place to put something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Play the Allegiance when you wear that. Uh huh. Oh, uh, that's funny. Oh, someone doing X. The man, the legend. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I like it. Very <laughs> simple, but it's right to the point. Unique, yeah. Giggity, to the point. Giggity. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> ah, beer wow. shorts for all you beer drinkers. Yeah, yeah. I wanna know. <laughs> yes, it says yellow. Just it could be yellow color. soda pop for good stuff. It, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> Is that anything like the yellow snow that you're not supposed to eat? No, I just... think maybe. I think it's something oh. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Elephant pouch, Tokame says. <laughs> Orgasm donor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're cute. Look at them. Oh, they're so cute. He oh. just said they're cute. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. That's so it, horrible. Manta. I'm taking your man card. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I had to take somebody's man card, and it was Fanta's. <clears throat> I'll get it back. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only beer Justin drinks. Damn. <laughs> Negative man oh. points says John, says uh, Vulcan. Negative man points, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> dungeon daddy. <laughs> yeah, for all you dungeon ears. Oh, that's kind of. Why gay. is it on the back? That that's okay, Justin. <laughs> Give me that.
<laughs> Here's your man card. Exactly. <laughs> what, you want to wear those? <laughs> Not those, because that no. says it on the back. I mean, <laughs> what is that? It just says it on the front, too. I didn't look. Ah, but it's on the back is the problem. It can go both ways. That doesn't make it not gay. <laughs> Dungeon Day. Creed. There you All go. Right. Yeah, get it back. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, I've got it here somewhere. Apollo. Is that it? We're going to find out. This might be it or it might not be. Give me that. Sorry, oh, wrong one. That was another yeah. take it away. It was supposed to be giving it back. I was giving it back to you. I just taking it back. It <laughs> taking it back, and I'm not going to say. Oh my lord! Oh god! Okay. No, it's, it's probably this a good thing you took it. Back. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh, that's fucking. Did you on purpose Photoshop that bolt? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, before. Um, Justin had been accused of just having naked men and him photoshopping clothes on them. That had been mm. accused in the past. So that yeah. could be what it is. I don't know. Allegations. <laughs> Allegations. <laughs> Nothing's been proven. <laughs> Nothing's been proven at all. You can't prove anything. Oh, that's funny, though. Crocheted. I feel like I want to put my coffee cup on them. <laughs> I don't want to... uh, my coffee cup needs yeah. to go. I think you could pull it off. <laughs> well, I could. I could pull off anything. That's just me, though. I'm pretty fucking manly with the beard and everything, you know. Wait, how do I to know what's going on? <laughs> what's fucking... Well, clearly <laughs> crocheted shorts. That's what's yeah, no, that's yeah. what's going on. <laughs> you know. Oh, these are pretty cool, though. Those are pretty cool. I like Chucky. <laughs> You know, I never, I never really understood the the fear of Chucky. Like, okay, you're a possessed little doll. Here, come, come, let me introduce you to my shotgun. And uh, oh, you're tiny. Let me grab you by your ankles and toss you into a wood chipper. Okay, Bye, Chucky. All, first of all, when you're scared by a little scary doll, you don't think about those things. Yeah. Second of all, nobody in the movies had a shotgun. Who's, Who's scared, scared by, by a, a tiny, tiny little, little doll? doll? Who doesn't get scared by a tiny he's, doll? He's she does it at night. Hi. night. Hi, how are you? They're creepy. Like he's they, they are creepy. They can be. Like little porcelain dolls can be creepy. Yeah, it's oh, but that's like just because they either. seem so lifelike. Is, but yeah, I don't. Yeah. I, I don't. Well, I never. Good. I never understood the the fear of Chucky. Well, he you comes know? to life and he has a knife and he kills you. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> I've got swords. So <laughs> you know, <laughs> like okay, come come at me with your knife. I'm just gonna lop your head off with a katana. You could punt his ass. Exactly, Vulcan. Kick a field goal. When you least expect it. Oh, look. Now we're putting the coasters on the shorts. I suppose that goes with the shoes, too. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, check out that whole get-up. That is... Wrong. That is a Nana Loves Me fit, if I've ever seen one. But look at his fingernails. Uh, the dude yeah. does not match the clothing. They're painted. Oh, I didn't see yeah. that. Uh, well, I I'm surprised. Yeah, that, confused God. that doesn't bother me as much as the uh, the crocheted patches. Yes. The color of those well, shoes. Hey, look, it's a box of French fries. Is that what that is? No, I think it's a flower, but I just thought it'd be funny. Oh, okay. Because the other one right there looks like a cactus of some kind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the other one must I be I just thought it'd be flower. funny. Joke failed. Sorry. <laughs> uh-huh yeah see seth's like i got steel-toed boots exactly man jesus justin what the hell <laughs> what is that revoke his guard I what love the hell it. is that oh. 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 really like really that. really going for that village people uh motif now huh yes he likes it hey welcome cigar gangster I think I saw you. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, cigar. We saw you earlier. Hello, the rest of guys dressed like that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, sir. <laughs> Ten point. Uh, uh, fuck. Uh, uh, <laughs> Chico Justin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no more. There's no more to look at. Oh God. Just oh you. darn. Oh, oh man. All right. Okay. I think I think Justin needs to redeem himself with his uh, conspiracy closet.
reports of appearances in Belmez began on 23 August 1971, when Maria Gomez Camara claimed that a human face formed spontaneously on her concrete kitchen floor. Maria's husband, Juan Pereira and their son, Miguel, destroyed the image with a pickaxe and new concrete was laid down. However, the Pereira story goes, a new face formed on the floor. The mayor of Belmez was informed and forbade the destruction of the new face. Instead, the floor concrete was cut out and taken for study. Maria's home was advertised to the tourists as La Casa de las Caras, the house of the faces. By Easter of 1972 hundreds of people were flocking to the house to see the faces. For the next 30 years the Pereira family claimed that faces continued to appear, both male and female and of different shapes, sizes and expressions. In 1979, the Pereira family began to encounter strange human-like faces that appeared and disappeared in their home without explanation. Both the locations and times that the faces appear have been irregular. According to the story, one day in August, Maria Gomez told her husband the face had appeared on the concrete floor in the kitchen. Her husband immediately destroyed the image with a pickaxe, only to have it appear again later. Despite having the floor replaced multiple times and cleaning the faces with detergent, they continued to appear without explanation. Skeptics claim the faces are a hoax, created with the use of an oxidizing agent. <laughs> That's crazy if it's fucking it's real. Creepy. Maybe mop the floor with uh, holy water? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. Maybe you want to consider mopping the floor. It does <laughs> look like a dirty floor. I will I will agree. Yeah. I don't know. Concrete is yeah. poop. Maybe it's the spirits telling them to clean the house. <laughs> yeah, that's totally what it is. Right. Mop the floor, bitch. Clean this shit up. <laughs> Tired of walking around. Better faces than dicks. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> like, a dick that's true. like, oh my God. A weird face staring at you while you're like walking out into the kitchen to get something, uh, you know, get coffee in the morning. Mm hmm. And I was like, yeah, dick mops up. Naked gun, 22 and a third. Yeah. You see shadow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It was the, in the first, was it, was it, the, yeah, the first one was when uh, the queen, correct? Uh, the Not Queen of fun. England and all of that. That was the first one. No, oh, yeah, it's it's been fucking is that correct? years since anyway, I've seen that. It, yeah. I believe it was the first one um, where he's uh, hanging outside the window of the really tall building and he's holding on this uh, the uh, <laughs> he's holding on the the statue of the guy's dick and it breaks off and then he falls into the window and like he's like pointing it towards this chick. So then he gets arrested for attack with a concrete dildo. <laughs> <laughs> my god oh yeah oh back oh. when uh hollywood knew how to make proper parodies oh man uh, leslie nielsen was fucking great i mean yes, all, he was top notch movies, man uh dracula dead and loving it uh, all of the naked guns um <laughs> yep <laughs> yeah, shit's great uh, I, you know, of course. Mm -hmm. what's going on here <laughs> I can't tell. Can't, can't get away hey. from them. Are the eyes moving or is it just me? <laughs> it just toss coffee on the floor and then the face goes away. That's all Great. it took. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, OJ was in them. That's right. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was. Yes. The creepy looking faces, too, man. I wouldn't want that shit on my floor either in my kitchen. Nope. Airplane might be my favorite movie, Woodrow says. Yeah. Yeah, I, it is one of the funniest five, movies of all time. Five points for Woodrow. Pretty fucking Agreed. Funny. Yeah, that's good stuff. He's like, I developed a drinking problem, and he's fucking tilting it on his forehead. <laughs> 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 What's going on? I can't tell. Well, you can tell me. I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to a hospital. What is it? A hospital. It's a large building with lots of patients. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, as OJ's well, as clubs. OJ's clubs. Uh, yeah, I speak jive. I speak jive. <laughs> Wasn't He's that the, uh, fact, the, yeah. old, the old granny? Yeah. It was um what was it? Uh the Brady Bunch mom. Wasn't that the Brady Bunch mom? Isn't that who that was? Florence Henderson. Uh, it might be. For, yeah, I believe that's who it was. Yeah, Florence Henderson. That's her. He grabbed his Bronco. 
I'd move because I'm not looking at those creepers all day, right? right. I mean, if you <laughs> hit it with the pickaxe, right, and then a, the face comes back, yeah, it's time yeah. to go. Uh, it, Especially if you pour new concrete, it makes me wonder if it's uh, you know, like uh, moisture underneath it just seeping up, right, in a Pacific pattern for thirty yes. years, Pacific. never stopped. Nope. Uh, it's, that's definitely bizarre. More bizarre than, uh, you know, seeing Jesus in your toast. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> yeah, or the Mother Mary. Leave it to be your mom. That's who it was. Uh, You're okay. right. That's oh. who it was. I forgot. Thank you, Mrs. G, coming in for the save. All right. Now, Master Ken has some tips for everybody for fighting out in the wild. Oh, yeah. Master Ken here with another secret street fighting tip. Uh, recently, someone asked me uh, when to use a high kick in a street fight. When is it appropriate to use perhaps a spinning hook kick or a high roundhouse taekwondo type bullshit in a street fight? I don't understand what the fascination is with doing this. Uh, it's impractical. Puts you off balance, leaves your groin open for attack, and it's flashy stuff, but it's not super effective. Uh, it's sort of a waste of time also because it takes a, a, a lot of time for a kick to reach the temple, or for a sidekick to reach the throat. Whereas my foot is a lot closer to his groin. So in a Meridote, we do have head kicks, but first I'm gonna kick his <laughs> groin to bring his head down, and then I'll kick him in the head, okay? I, I'm not saying that I can't, Todd, get up. Just put some dirt on it. I'm not saying I can't deliver a head kick. I'm just saying I choose not to. But if I really, if I really need to, I can. <laughs> Got him. I just think they're unnecessary. <laughs> Smooth. I love this guy. <laughs> oh, Mr. Can, yes. Maybe zoom in to see if Justin was in the back of OJ's Bronco. Hmm. No, I remember watching that though on TV. Did you know that night was the biggest pizza day uh, of all time for delivery? Of <laughs> I bet, man. Wow. And I do Everybody remember is... we did have pizza that night. <laughs> of, course, of course we had pizza. Who wouldn't? Yeah. Yes, hmm. pizza. It, well, it was on TV. It was live. And it took forever right. because that Bronco chase was... Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Wasn't the fastest of all. I ain't gonna no. lie. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, so we are gonna take one more look at Pale Rider's pool. Mm. And uh, then we're gonna give people time to vote on that and Justin's private poll. And then after, uh, during that time while people are voting, we're gonna get into Be a Man because, you know, Be a Yay. Man. So this here is Baton Boobs. The one everyone should vote for. The the tasteful reflection in the glasses uh, uh -huh. is the reason. Mm. And here is the improper unregulation. Non-regulation uniform. Oh, yeah, like, Must be the like vice the way, uniform, just saying. Uh, put it in my hand. That's I like her. the way she cups those keys. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> This here is strip search. I don't like yeah, her. I'm yeah. going to have to clean the mirror again. And the That's sleeves, cool. right, Justin? It's the I mean, sleeves. Doesn't look like it's they cleaned the, the mirror before they took this photo. I don't think saying. so. No. It's a bit smudgy. Uh, there's, there's, there's been a lot of people with their hands up on this mirror. I wonder what that means. Mm -hmm. Those aren't handprints. <laughs> Just saying. Clean his prints. All right. And this is under me arrest. Oh, hide my cock lady. Yes, that too. <laughs> that too. Talk so, about batteries. Let's see. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> nice. <laughs> let's see if there's been any movement on Pale Rider's pull. And I don't really think there has. Um, we're fun. at 11 for strip search. She's still in the lead. Under Me Arrest has eight. Oh, but Tom Poob's got five, uh, six. Oh, wait. No, she was at six. When, no, she was at five. Where I don't remember. 
And of course, uh, put it in my hand is bringing it up in the rear with two. Last. Two votes, two. So what we're going to do is we're going to give everybody a few minutes to vote. I'm going to share this link. And here you go. If you have not voted, please go vote. It is imperative that you do this. Uh, El Pesto. There we go. Go and then also, if you have not voted on Justin's private poll, please go do that. This one's a really important one as well. That's in my chat. It's so, while oh, let's go ahead, I'm saying it's a doozy. It is a doozy. I do, it is a doozy. Nurses and work from home girls because it's like they have they are homeschooled. Have any of you been homeschooled? No, have any of you been homeschooled? I have not been homeschooled, not by a sexy cop. All Maybe. right. So we're going to watch Be a Man while people put in their final votes and the uh, final votes are being tallied. Do it, do it now. If you can't hear somebody, just nod your head and say, Sounds good. Be a man. <laughs> 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 Sounds good. I mean, I've done that Don't before. Don't turn on the lights, yeah. trip and break your neck. Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fuck that noise. Be late. Be a man. <laughs> Jesus. Hot box butts. Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting. Oh, that's horrible. Joints. Joints, yes. Oh, sorry. Let's know. <laughs> if your hands get dry, don't use lotion. Spit on them. Be a man. <laughs> Be a man. Somebody cut you off in traffic, follow them home and smash their fucking windshield. Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> I do that. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, good stuff. So uh, yeah, him and I are like best friends now. He followed me on X. Did he? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty famous. So that's very <laughs> cool. Yeah, uh, like best friends. We don't talk or anything, but I know. It's an understood. Yeah. It's an understanding between the two of you, of course. Hey, yeah. you know of course, up. you've been there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So we are going to go ahead and call Pale Rider. Oh, my God. We can't call Pale Rider's poll. And guess what? What? No. I have not used my vote. Oh, no. So I oh. finally get to do a tiebreaker. Jesus. Tiebreaker. Tie You're oh, my so. favorite good stuff. First time. Oh. Oh, <laughs> wow. Here we go. Sorry, I had to do it on my phone because I can't do it on the uh, – the Wi-Fi, because Mrs. G has already voted on the Wi-Fi, so I have to pull it up on my phone and use my uh, my 4G. I'm not cool enough to have 5G, so I've got to do. 5G it here. is for cooking humans. That's all it's good for. Just uh, okay. Anyway, well, that's, I don't want to be cooked. Hmm. I don't want to be cooked. So talk to amongst yourself for a second while I pull um, this up. Oh, geez. This oh, is going to determine our friendship. Uh, there you go. All you gotta do is hit the uh, the link that says straw poll. Uh, yep, yep. So you can vote. It, my, it's just my phone's a really long time. That's all. Yeah. So okay. So I get to break the tie, and I'm super excited about this. And it's under me arrest or strip search. Mm. Validating. See results. Let's see what I did. Let's see what I did. Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, simp. <laughs> Drip search wins it with Yay! 12 votes. No. <laughs> Under the arrest uh, comes in second. Uh, oh, shit. Somebody just fucking voted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. So we need another vote. We need somebody. I used my. I thought I was going to finally be the tiebreaker, and I get to do it. But no, mm. I don't Someone get to. Did, I, I didn't get to fully. Agab uh, negated your vote. Ah, son of a bee sting! He's got the whole stream against us. 
<laughs> All right. So we need somebody to go vote. Um, and while we well, somebody voted for somebody who wasn't even tied. Ah, you guys are killing me. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? And I love it. I ain't gonna lie. That's fucking great. <laughs> so yeah, stuff, stuff the boxes. Okay, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do while I'm gonna allow people to go in there and break those ties, I'm gonna go ahead and call Justin's poll and let him oh shit. Why don't you guys oh, tell God. me when I do that? Tell me when I do that. Come on, man. Um, Why didn't somebody tell me my ass was so big? Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, no, send me back so I get switched back around. <laughs> Forget it. Right. No more beaming. No more beaming. I'll just walk. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love that movie. Scotty beat me twice last night. Yes, okay. Uh, so, Justin's <laughs> private poll. Justin created his own cocktail. What should he call it? Tied for last place, we have, in, with 19% of the votes, are the Closatini <laughs> and the Pillow Gripper. Yeah, right, I was hoping Closatini would get it. Okay, I forgot to do this. Okay, Closatini and uh, the Pillow Gripper tied for last with 19%. The That's Long Lazy Iced Tea is in second place with 22%. The Long Swayze Iced Tea, the winner... The winner of the name of the cocktail that you are going to make or have made is at 39% sack juice. Sack juice. <laughs> That's what won. Sack Did you say sack or sack? I got to start bottling that. Also, yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> so yes, if uh, you want a tasty sock juice, uh, get a hold of Justin. Sock he, juice, okay. He can take care of it. Sock juice, not sack juice. Sock <laughs> juice. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and end that poll before somebody decides to vote on that one and fuck it all up. Keep uh, firing, firing assholes. assholes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So, okay. Oh, oh no. We're still tied. Mm -hmm. We're still tied. So that means we have a tie. That's what that means if anybody didn't know that. <laughs> Uh, Thank you for clarifying. I appreciate that. <laughs> You're welcome. I thought people might need an explanation. Come on, guys. The Could only wait, where'd it go? Oh, it's gone. It was up there. Come on, guys. The only one cop chick showing her panties here. It's a no-brainer. Mismatched. <laughs> Sock oh, juice goodness. is made from expressing from the sack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Okay, I think what I'm going to have to do, this is special. This has never happened. Well, this this has happened, but not in this type of setting. And hmm. the problem comes in because we can only have one uh, police babe winner because this is going to be a village people yep. themed at the end. So what we're going to do ah. is we're going to go ahead and call this. We're going to call it right now as a, a tie. And tomorrow on Twitter, I'm going to put these two out there for another vote. Mm. And it'll 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 be a uh, a pal rider pull off. So um, <laughs> we're gonna have to see which go. one uh, come. Oh wait, son of a bee sting! Oh Fanta! Oh no! Oh, no. God. Fanta. I'm so what sorry. Happened? We almost no. got to have a pull. -off. Somebody went in and voted, and uh, under me arrest has taken the lead with 13 votes. A That's some bullshit. <laughs> it, it, it <laughs> I didn't get I didn't get a chance to technically close it out. New from the Belmont Express Brewery, genuine sock juice. Try it today. That's five points right there. I like it. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, so yes, we don't get we don't get to have a pull off. I was really looking forward to the pull off, but under me, arrest wins. That's where we are. I apologize, Fanta. I was pulling for you, and I even voted for uh, the one you voted for. It's probably PayPal. <laughs> well, PayPal said rigged, so I don't think so. Yeah, he rigged it. <laughs> He's deflected. You know, that could be what that meant. Like, rigged, because I rigged it. <laughs> yeah. You know, deflection. Exactly. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, this but is to know. prove it. We are at 13 votes here under me arrest. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and um, 
close it before somebody else screws it up. Yeah, I've never actually <laughs> closed one of these out. Can I close it out? I don't have any idea. How do I end this poll? Huh. Watch Jeopardy. Uh, uh, I thought our polls were running. Share, embedded, delete. Vote, delete. No, not delete. I don't want to delete. Oh, uh, poll uh, settings. Uh, that's your uh, poll settings. Poll no, settings. Third, yeah, try that one. Uh, voting results. Results. Edit vote for nobody. Results visibility always public. Mm. Hide result no. Okay, uh, no. Maybe it's just gonna wait for the timer. Or did it no, there's time? no timer because I've never oh. closed to any of them out. They've all, I've just, they're still all going. You could still go vote on the past ones. I mean, it's <laughs> oh, wow. every single one of them from the very beginning. I've never closed one out. Because A I don't know field how. of unclosed polls lie in the wake. Uh -huh. We're, we're, we're just going to remember, sure. we're going to remember today <laughs> that uh, under me arrest won. We're just, we're just going to remember. I might forget. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you end the poll by having her sit on it. <laughs> That's good. I like that. That's a couple of points. Uh, where'd you go? Where, where's your points at? Three. And uh, a gobs. I like his too. Just pull out. I like that one. So that's another three points there. That was good. It probably went under another name, but they were basically sock like. Got a great show as always. All right. So before we get out of here, everybody, um, uh, we have the best outro and all of the interwebs so you want to stick around for that and you get to listen to people say where you can find them and what they got going on and all of that good stuff you can find me at death metal hero on twitter instagram and youtube they even have one of those Facebook fan page things. But you can find all of my links at deathmetalhero.com. You can also take a look at the gallery that I've got of my work. And also, uh, if you like merch, if you want a hat like this or shoes, or, you know, cell phone uh, case. And uh, even, I guess, with, with the uh, uh, nutsack bags, uh, the, the bean bag uh, uh, balls, whatever they are. Anyway, all kinds of merch on uh, deathmetalhero.com. So uh, go ahead and check that out. And while you're at it, go sign up for the Mercenary Guild at themercenaryguild.com. That way you can get this exclusive uh, Elven Sorceress trading card. Nagal, the Elven Sorceress, part of the Mage Guild. So yeah, go sign up for that. Uh, we're working hard on getting this book done and uh, ready to uh, rock and roll later on this year. Fantastic. Uh, you, can also, you can also find me on Flying Felines Happy Hour Hangout Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Come join us. We have drinks, fun, and trivia. Yes. Excellent. And uh, Vulcan says he sounds like Cobra Commander. I was thinking, yeah. um, what is it, Dr. Call? Cobra! Retry! Uh, doctor, is it Dr. Call from uh, Inspector Gadget? Next time, Gadget. Yes, Next that's the time. One yeah. there go. <laughs> that's the one I think of. Hell yeah. The, uh, Oh, right. And then our uh, female on the panel to help keep that testosterone level down to help us keep from getting into that tos toxic masculinity. Fanta. I was so hoping you would have misclicked and Justin would have puffed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been funny on purpose, though. Oh, I'll think of that next time. Maybe. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll forget. <laughs> uh, you can find me Instagram, Twixer, and YouTube, Phantasmagorical. Um, um, usually somewhere every day, uh, but lately it's been Tuesdays with Feline and Luke. Yeah, um, yeah. The happy hour when, hangout. Yeah, yeah. Wednesday night with Dojo Kun, the incendiary, where we have a debate and then showcase a guest's um, campaign. Thursday here, and then the first Friday of every month with Mrs. Good Stuff, Flying Feline and Amanda B which will be tomorrow and it will be simulcast right between good stuff and mrs good stuff until everybody yes. you know has a chance yes. to go over to mrs yes so that come see correct. us We're tomorrow just, uh, trying to remind everybody because some people don't realize she has her own channel and that's where it's yeah. going to be so we're going to try to send everybody to over to uh, hers so. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah! Make sure you get your bacon dishes in. Oh, uh, fuck I, me. I, gotta, I gotta post. Oh, yes. I gotta post mine. Oh shit! Okay, I can do mine tomorrow because I have bacon. Oh yes, yeah, so this will be good. Because go. I do, I do have a bacon dish planned for a dinner. I just didn't technically plan it for tomorrow, but it makes sense now, right? There you go. There yeah. you go. See? Yeah, yeah. 
All right, Daddy Ray Ray. Happy accidents. What's up? Uh, y'all can catch me on the tweets, tweets, Twitters, X things with an underscore. Um, yeah, not much going down. Got family over to visit the little one. It's mama's birthday today, so we're going to take her out for brunch. Yeah. Um, yeah, birthday. crowdfunding plugin is done. I'm just doing the how-to videos in 4K this time. Nice. Yeah, we're ready to rock. I just want to, you know, family first, plug in later. Absolutely. Yeah. Real life always comes first. Yeah. Sweet baby Ray. That it do. All right. And what about Justin? Hey. Hey. Thanks for coming to our 50th episode extravaganza. Um, next week, we're going to uh, launch Cassie Dreams Red Rum, which is the translucent uh, red figure. So you guys get to grab my two-incher again. Yay! <laughs> I grabbed it the first time. Yep. Only two time. fingers. Two fingers. <laughs> it's just number it fits in most hands. It does two finger flinger. Hands. Even little <laughs> tiny hands. Oh, tiny hands of gob. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> It's gonna it's gonna launch at four twenty Mountain Time, which is uh, six twenty Eastern. So about which twenty minutes. Exist. Mountain That's Time. Cool. Is it's a magical time. It sounds like it's made up. Are you being serious when you say Mountain Time? Yeah, it's real. Look it up. Huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's only four o'clock when when we start. It's only oh. four o'clock here. So yes. then um, I get hungry over you know over two hours of talking and and smoking. <laughs> And smoking. And smoking. <laughs> how, how is Mountain Time different from Central Time? Are you guys an hour behind them? It's an hour difference. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So you're two hours behind. Got it. Yeah, buddy. Oh, and then there's me. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so, yes, I, I am good stuff. Hear me roar. Roar. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus. I do video editing. If anybody needs video editing done, please get a hold of me. If you think you cannot afford a trailer or an intro for your show, think again. You most likely can. I do excellent work. I have uh, I have some stuff I can show you that I've done if you need to see some of it. Uh, but I did the intro for this show. Yeah, buddy. Second night, folks. Cool. good. Thank you. Thank you. I do all the editing on my channel. I do uh, most of the editing for Mrs. Good Stuff's channel as well. And yeah, I've done some trailers. Mad Ruth. I did uh, I did Nano 13 for Chris Faction. Yeah, I did yeah. Perfect 10. Two of them for uh, Dave Brink, Genuine Comics. And I've done more out there as well. So basically, if you need a trailer, come see me. Come see me. <laughs> And I've been told we have an artiste lined up for Paper Machete. Nice. Oh. So I don't nice. think I don't know that I can give out the name yet. So I'm going to keep that under wraps uh. for the moment. So I'm really excited because the art is good. Just really good. It's going to be good stuff. Yes, Paper Machete. It will be a horror comic, not a horror comic, horror, horror comic. There and, you go. Got to enunciate. Uh -huh. you know. and they don't want to don't mislead people. And there will be, they wear paper machete, paper mache heads. And yes, there's going to be gore. Lots of good stuff. Nice. But thank you, Luke, for coming on. I really uh, do thanks appreciate for having you showing me. up in, uh, in the man cave and dwelling in the cave with us. Appreciate you. <laughs> Chat, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much, each Love and every chat. one of you. Without you guys, we wouldn't ever be able to do this. And I think taking a quick glance with uh, not actually adding up the points, it's going to be close between a gob and pale rider in the lead at the current state. Eric Boyd's got some points on there too, but I think a gob and uh pale rider are currently in the lead, but remember to get points in between shows, you can go and comment on the replay and all of that good stuff. So thank you very much, guys, Justin. I think you want me to take us out because of the yeah. end of situation until next time. I will see each and every one of you later. If I can find the intro somewhere. Last one. Peace. Somewhere. Bye. Last one. Uh, there it is. I like it. Yeah. Can I lie? You are the famous cat and I. When a girl walks in, put it in the video. When stand around, paint in your face, you get strong. Want to put up? Don't cause I know that that's what's up. Deep in the jeans she's wearing. I'm hooked and I
Sorry, that sounds silly. Oh, baby, I wanna get with ya. Let me take your picture. My whole voice tried to warn me, but that butt you got makes me so horny. Ooh, rum fast moves, Kim. You say you wanna get in my bins? Well, use me, use me, 'cause you ain't that average groupie. Yeah. Rock singer, dancing, to out with romance, just wet, wet. Come on, let's turn on that. I'm tired of magazines. Let's turn on that. Come on, let's turn on that. I'm tired of magazines. Sing that first of the thing. Take the average one thing and I give that. She got a bad mood, bad. So fellas, yeah, fellas, yeah. as you both ain't got the butt, don't yeah. just shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake that healthy butt. Baby, I'm feeling it.